when you hear story after story after story, when you're exposed to it, when you're exposed to those challenging behaviors um, over time because of our own ability to adapt, just similarly to a traumatic adaptation or a, a behavioral adaptation, we adapt to it too if we don't practice good, competent self-care. And then the most extreme of these is what's called vicarious trauma, uh, sometimes known as secondary trauma. This is where, because we're working so intensely with trauma-impacted youth and people, where sometimes we actually develop similar symptoms to the youth that we're working with. It doesn't mean you develop the exact same symptoms, but because you hear the stories over and over again and you work with the, the people over and over again, sometimes we get vicariously traumatized to it. It's like we're living through that lens in a sense. Um, you know, a good example is for me, uh, sometimes I, I remember pro probably at its peak when I felt like it was impacting me the most. I was sleeping one night and I heard just a creak in the other room. And, you know, I live in a big city, so it's like, it's not unheard of that something had happened. But the way that my body reacted, I got so triggered. And so, you know, I got up super quick. I found like a, a, a baseball bat or something like that. <clears throat> just to make sure nobody was there. And of course, you know, there, there's some, you know, normalcy to that if you do that. Um, but the, the reaction was extreme. And it was because at the time I was working with a lot of people who had been victims of forced entry, of burglary, of robbery, of things like that. And hearing those stories over and over again, it touched my psyche in a way, right? And um, so this is in, in some sense, the most extreme, and we want to look out for this the most, the best antidote to all of these is self-care. We need to take care of ourselves. We need to be able to be in a place where we have consistent, skillful practices so that we can feel refreshed, so that we can feel uh, attuned, and so that we can really show up as our best self. 